Good morning! How are we all doing today? How are we? It's shake time. I know it's a bit late today, but I've had a lot on this morning, so I've been busy away, so I'm only just getting my breakfast shake now. So I'm going to go with um, vanilla. Oh, no, I'm not actually. I was going to go with vanilla and strawberry, but I wanted the chocolate chupa chup one again. Not chocolate chupa chup, chocolate yazoo again, because it's absolutely awesome. So basically, all it is, is innocent coconut water and scoop of chocolate complete. Awesome stuff, this. Wacky lid on. Easy peasy shake, this one. Pop it in and shake it up. How's everyone doing today? What are we all up to? A lovely Wednesday. Guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm doing today? Come on. I'm going shopping again. This whole dress thing. Oh my God. How many dresses does one need to buy before? They find the dress that's actually right for the dress code. Um, I'm getting, I'm part of an Oscar style ceremony um, in Bournemouth for the Juice Plus convention where I get my recognition for national marketing director. And um, we've been informed that we need to dress to impress, dress like we're at the Oscars. <laughs> Can you imagine me tottering on like I'm at the Oscars? Oh my God, so scared. So yeah, so now I'm going again today to go and find a floor length number for the Oscar <laughs> ceremony. Oh, that's great, Anna. I hope she has a lovely time. Oh, I'm running out of coconut water. So yes, I thought I'd just pop on, do my shake. This is 10 day, day 10 of my 10 day challenge. You can really see through this top, sorry. This is like day 10 of the 10 day challenge. I've lost six pounds altogether. Um, I'm gonna get weighed again in the morning because I want to include day 10 just in case another pound's miraculously gone. But I think six pound over the 10 days is amazing. I feel incredible. I'm on top of the world. I've been having my shakes every day, my capsules every day. And I've been drinking lots more water, I've been having the right amount of sleep, I've been cutting out coffee, so caffeine, alcohol, dairy products, uh, gluten, wheat, processed foods, sugar. So I've cut all that out and I just feel incredible. I'm going to carry on with the 10 day challenge after this. I'm going to go to Bournemouth, maybe have a few treats and then get back on the Monday again. Bang, another 10 day challenge. So anybody that wants to do it with me next time, get in touch with me, get your products. You know, the shakes are amazing on their own. Just get your products, get started with me and I'll help you and we'll do it together for the next 10 days starting on the following Monday. Um, so I think that's the Monday the 10th, is it? Or the 9th, the 11th. It's 10th or the 11th. But anyway, that's when I'm starting my next one. So get on that with me. So I'm just gonna blend this a little bit more. I have to get the shake up. Less are you laughing? This will makes you crazy and you... Hang on guys, sorry. So I'm in a singing mood this morning. I've been singing away on the old shmuel. If anybody knows what that is. <laughs> I love it. I don't ever dare put my videos on though because they're a bit shit. I used to be a singer and I used to sing properly in like pubs and clubs and all that kind of carry on. I used to have about 10 vodkas before I used to get on stage but it always went really well. And then I kind of just lost all my confidence. I got postnatal depression and I just stopped doing it. So I stopped practicing. I stopped singing altogether really, I just felt like I was shit and I couldn't do it anymore, I had no self esteem, hated myself and I just stopped singing but now I've started kind of singing again a little bit on my own, <laughs> I might put a video out there one day um, but yeah and I'm enjoying it and I'm doing it for me this time. Hi Sarah babe, are you excited? Who is All the guys that are on this are coming to Bournemouth, it's always like Got a weak connection then guys, sorry I think I lost you a second, I was just saying, I bet it's all the wrecks that come on and watch my videos, um, so if you're going to Bournemouth, give me a hands up, I am so excited, I cannot literally wait, hang on a minute, let me just check my shake, oh, 
I love this one. It's like chocolate yazoo. You can add honey as well to make it even sweeter. It's proper nice. I love this one. So just chocolate, coconut water, and you can add honey if you want it even sweeter. Add a bit of ice as well. That makes it really nice. So I've got shopping now with Conrad. I'm taking my husband this time. I've gone twice on my own now and not been able to find anything because when I go on my own, I just buy what I normally would wear and it's usually a sack that just covers me and I feel comfortable in it. But no, I've got to go and I've got to get a long fitted kind of number. So I'm taking Conrad with me. God, this top is so see-through. I'm taking Conrad with me and um, he's going to help me decide. But usually when I take Conrad, he'll come in and he'll be so stressed because he hates shopping. Like, as soon as he walks into a store or out, he gets like a panic attack. He hates all the noise and the business of it. So he will just say to me, oh yeah, you look beautiful, that's amazing, let's go. So I can't even really trust him. I should have really took a girlfriend, but all my, most of my girlfriends work through the day or they live too far away to just hook up and go shopping, so it's a bit annoying. I haven't had my day yet. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if you mean Miss World is in the Oscars. I don't think you do actually, I just think you're just using that in a general. I know, he's such a girl, Sarah. You need to tell him. He's got OCD, he's got proper issues. He's, he, he's, can't hear me. He's just come back from Jim's nearly died. He's come in and he's soaking wet from his head to his toe. And what it is with Conrad is when he has his personal trainer, he will not back down. Like he won't say he can't do something or stop. So he'll push through and he'll nearly die doing something. So that's just what he's like. He's a bit pathetic. <laughs> Great. I'm everyone's friend, me. I love everyone. Um, yeah, I can be a friend. That's about it. <laughs> Um, don't be, what I get a lot of the time is I'll get people watch my videos and then they're just like messaging me all the time you know I can't really message just to chat all day I have to I do run a business on Facebook as well so you know uh, bear that in mind when you're messaging me yeah well it's too late now I'm going now I'm going with Conrad and he's going to tell me whether it looks good and if he tells me it looks good and then I go on stage and someone well no one's actually going to say to you it looked shit are they no one's going to tell you the truth so I'm either going to look shit or good I don't know at the moment I've got a black dress that's to the knee and it's got like chiffon here and then it's all fitted and it's got like a chiffon bit there it's really nice but I don't feel like it's as glam as what they want in so I went to go and get another one and I came back with just like this thing that you just like literally throw over your head and it just covers everything and it's just loose and then I thought, that's not what they're wanting either. I keep going and getting safe things and I need to go all out and get a proper glitzy glam dress. Yeah, Sarah, I've got like, this is no way fly. I could get them all out and show you, but the hideous. I've got about five Bridget Joan things. So I've got like Bridget Joan knickers, a Spanx, I've got two Spanx dresses. I've got Spanx short things that just make you look horrendous that suck everything in, but what I find is they just push it to another place. So you put the spanks on, right, and you might have a flat tummy, but you've got four ass cheeks because it pushes all your fat into the bottom of your bum and then the nickel line sticks in, so it gives you four bum cheeks. I don't know if this is just me. Why don't they make a spanked thong? I think that'd be really cool. And if you're pushing all the fat out of your body, you're pushing it over the top of the spanks and then you're getting a little tire where the spanks ends. I'm just not happy with Spanx. I'm not happy with this. It's not working. So you're better off sometimes wearing nothing. Because honestly, I've tried a dress on, right, that's been a bit tight for me. And I thought, right, I'll put my Spanx dress on and I'll be as thin as anything. I'll be like, God, I'm just going to be like, I'm going to say Kim Kardashian then, but she's not even skinny as she She's curvaceous. I'm trying to think of someone real skinny, like Taylor Swift. Yeah, so I think I'm going to look like her. It just oozes the fat down and up. So I get more fat here and more fat down there. So I, they're not the way forward for me. They need to invent somewhere else. <laughs> like eating clean and exercise. Ugh. Yeah, but when you get to my age, I'm 35, I've had two kids. You know, it's not all plain sailing, is it? Everything drops a little bit, a little bit at a time. And if you doubt mine, it might drop a little bit more. I've noticed even this bit's dropping a little bit now. It's just, there's no I can do about it. I've just got to grow and age as it comes, you know, there's no spanks for, for this, is there? And a, spanks, they just don't work. Go to quiz, the black and gold limited edition dress is unreal, is it? Oh, I might have to go to White Rose then. 
Oh, I'm getting stressed because I have found a couple of dresses, but I don't know if to go back there. I'll just go somewhere new and look at new dresses. I'm just getting real stressed out with it. And the whole Spanx thing made me actually cry because I thought it was going to make me skinnier, like I said before. And when I put it on with the tight dress, it just added more material. It made me fatter. They're not the way. Yeah, corsets are all right, but then again, I'm a big busted lady. So I put a corset on and the boobs are up here. They're up under my chin. I can't breathe, I look ridiculous. Like I've had weird breast implants. Corsets don't work for me either because like I say, it just pushes my skin down and up. They don't work then for me. I must be a funny shape or a freak or something, but they don't. Um, but yeah, send me a pic Sarah of that dress. I'd love to see it. I'm still in the severe morning because obviously most of you are aware that we had a death in the family yesterday. Woke up in the morning to find our beloved rabbit dead on the conservatory floor. It was horrendous. I'm I'm not too bad because to be perfectly honest, I'm not a massive animal person. I do love them, but I don't build a bond like my animals aren't my children. Like some people love their animals so much they like their children. I'm not that crazy about it. But I did love her, you know, she were alright, she were cute, she were nice, we looked after her. But China, it was her baby. And when I had to tell her in the morning and I woke her up, she, a little fit, it were awful uh, to wake her up. I didn't know whether to tell her before school or wait, but I didn't know what to do because we'd have to bury the rabbit. So I thought, I'll just tell her. So I woke her up and I just said, China, we've got some bad news, sit up. And I let her sit up. And then I said, I'm really sorry, but Elsa, she's passed away, darling, isn't that? She must have been pulling her little face. I'll never forget it. It just crumpled up so much and she just looked absolutely heartbroken and she sobbed the whole day yesterday. So I had a horrendous day yesterday. It was awful. And it's horrible when your kids are upset and you can't do anything. So, yes, yeah, so I went on yesterday because of that. Um, I were on a little bit, but I went on live or anything. But she's gone to school today. She didn't go to school yesterday. Yeah, thanks, Conrad. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. <laughs> what is he doing? I've just noticed he's in the kitchen in his boxer shorts. He's just walked past. Aren't so, you bothered? Look at it. Shall I turn it on him? Yes, sir. <laughs> he's there in the kitchen washing up in his boxer shorts. I'm not washing up, I'm washing. This guy's got far too much into Excuse his me. lifestyle. Hello, he's got dear. boxer shorts on, doesn't he? <laughs> Naked, it? it feels right good because he had a good workout and he did well yeah, today. I'm happy. So you will look at, come and talk to me. Come and talk to me for fans. Come on. Wait, I'm busy, I want my shirt. Come and talk to him, I want you to tell him some fans. Who yeah. the fuck are you, so cool? <laughs> they're my fans. They're just my mates. They're all rips. <laughs> I'm everyone else's fan. <clears throat> come on, come and talk to him, I want you to tell him some that. Running out of the sales all not milk, mate. I've got something for you to tell him. Quick, it's what? important. Wait a minute, fuck's sake. Just come here. Jesus Christ, how are you? No, I'm listen, out. tell him. Come on, we're going to get used to this whole live video thing. You have to duck down because your head's not in the camera. Because my head's massive. Right. Tell everyone, are you listening, Where how are you excited doing? you are to go dress shopping with me now. Tell them. Well, you can go dress shopping. Go on. I'll go to pub or to Jimmy. No, you're going <laughs> No, it's a load of bollocks. Why? Right, if there's any guys on here, yeah, your girlfriend always says, or your wife, or whatever, come shopping, love. Yeah. It took me half an hour, 30 minutes, and I'll have got my dress. Your Six dress? Six hours later. Are you later. getting a dress, love? No, you were all about when you go with your missy. Yeah, I might go, actually. <laughs> but no, you, you take piss, lot of you. No. And then you'll go into the first shop, see a dress that you like. Sorry, excuse me when you're cutting this. You having a new And tell so, oh, you, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I love them. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll see one that you like. And go to another, what, 20, 25 shops? And then yeah, go back to the first shop, where you saw the first one. Standard, While your bloke's legs are killing, pissed off, stressed out, sweating, yeah, I can't wait to go shopping. I can't wait. I can't wait to go shopping. For the weekend to begin. Who's with me, Bomber? Woo! Oh, so fat excited. Ass. Shut up. I'm working on my bum, thank you. Anyway, you like a fat ass, don't you? I like a bit of meat. I you like do? He likes a bit of meat, this one. He's one of them curvy kind of people who don't like skinny. Never ever fastens the fucking shape packages so out. I'm alright there. I'm alright there. I'll get me fat out for you. I showed you my spanks the other day, didn't I? You want your spy? <laughs> you loved it. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Your husband should say to you, you look beautiful in them spanks. And how would you feel if I wore some spanks? 
I think you'd look stunning in them. Bollocks. You would. <laughs> you don't get need a breath, then the titties are yours. I ain't got no titties. Solid muscle, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so I, I always. Oh, I'm going to get fucking chocolate. Show him my spanks and stuff and go, do I look sexy in this nude coloured, like hideous condom that I'm wearing? <laughs> like the skip from a fucking old people's or the sort of. Well, I am Bless old you. now. Bless you. You've got to get used to it. I'm 35. That's old in my book. I'm tired. That's spraying all over me, idiot. I did it. Oh, God. If you are looking for a man, a what? A man unit, pretty well looking for true love. Can you not see my husband? What are you called? Tattoo. Tattoo. This Tattoo. Is, Pleased to meet you. This is my husband. You know, you don't just come on people's videos and try and bloody... I'm looking for a man tattoo. Try and find love. <laughs> Can we go for a date, pal? It's not here. The love's not here. I'm sorry, we're not, you're not going to find love on my live video. Freaks. You could feel free to go find love on, what is it? Or Fish in the Sea or, I don't know, I don't know them dating websites, but Desperate if, any, if anyone's got any on. advice for tattoo, please leave comments below. Get your centre booze a tattoo, lad. Do it proper. <laughs> yeah, correct. It's like he's pissed when he's right, on Joe's He's online little freaky Shut guys, man. You can't even go get a bird. What's wrong with you, like? Right, I'm going to go Fag ahead. Ones. Oh, te no, Tetto says you're a very handsome man. All oh, right. So you're going to go for a date with me, Tetto, pal? Right. This is getting out of hand. I don't want any, I don't want any online violence. So I think it's time. Come on, Shh. I think it's time to leave before. Quick while we're ahead, that's the phrase. Quick while we're ahead. So yeah, so let's get shopping on We've got to be back for 25 past three. We haven't got long, have we? What, so I can go get kids right I want to go to White Rose. Are you all right with White Rose? Tetto might be there. <laughs> Tetto is not going to the White Rose. <laughs> I'm real sorry. I'll see you in Costa Tetto, pal. Conrad, go away. Okay, this is a private conversation <laughs> now. I will go get a bird. You've given him the advice. That's enough. Anyway, moving on, moving on. I was telling you about my really sad rabbit when Conrad decided to come in and make loads of noise in background when I was telling you about my really upsetting story. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, telling you about my really upsetting story, which I'm not laughing at, by the way. Anyway, she's fine. It's China today. She was crying a little bit this morning, but she's gone to school. We buried Elsa, we're going to get her a plaque for the garden, and it was very, very distressing. And Conrad was very distressed. And Oakley was like, in the morning, he was like, oh my God, she's dead. And then he said, what did he say? He said, I was happy when she was alive, and I'm unhappy now she's dead. And bless him, that's, that's about as... That's about as in depth as Oakley got, but it was it, it was a bit sad. And then China was absolutely distraught and heartbroken, and she's like, um, "I'm like, you can't go to school, China." And then Oakley started going, "Oh my god, it's so sad." But he had a, he had a bit of a cough anyway, so I, I felt a bit bad sending sending him. So they both had the day off for morning yesterday. Oh god, my life. Anyway, I'm gonna go shopping now. I'm sorry, I've just bored you a little bit at the end. But um, I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. And oh my God, get ready, get ready for the most live videos and pictures over the weekend, because it's gonna be a lot of pictures of the um, ceremony, the opening ceremony, which I've just found out I'm a part of, which is just crazy exciting, 4,000 people. And I'm gonna be on the stage twice during the weekend, so I'm so excited. We're gonna literally be glamorous, and um, loads of live videos. I'm hoping Conrad will go live when I get my award on the stage. Yeah. So please be um, ready at about, uh, around between 10 and 12 on Saturday for when I go live, because it'll be Conrad <laughs> filming me, getting my um, award. And you can all see what I'm wearing and how disastrous I look and how awkward I'll be walking. I'll be like this. You know when you can't walk in heels, plus I'll be nervous, plus there'll be 4,000 people watching me and I've got to like strut and I'm like, well, I said to Conrad, well, I can't just like go like that, like, like I think I'm a model or something, so I'll, I'll be tottering on, I won't know how to walk, I'm really distressed. Anyway, but I am excited and it's going to be awesome and I hope some of you guys tune in on Saturday to check it out. Love you guys, thanks for watching, speak to you soon.